Welcome back to We Watch Movie. I'm Mike. He's Jay. This comes as a request from you guys. You guys said, hey, review that goddamn downrange trailer. Yeah, I saw that pop up a few times in the comments. <laughs> downrange. Downrange trailer. You know, the thing about downrange, the, the title itself suggests something that when you're riding in a car with your friends and then you fart and roll the windows up, you're like, you're downrange from it and you guys are suffering through it and not saying a word. It reminded me more of the gooch. You know, the downrange. No, you never. What, it's, the, it's the special man. Would you say that? It's the man rope. Oh, okay. I was going to say, you're not going to say that to a girl. Can you go downrange a bit on that? That would sound weird. I mean, well, you could, maybe it's a golfing Unless stuff. you're in a country music porn video. Won't you go downrange on my gooch? And touch my butthole. Later. Yeah, it's going to get weird. We've been drinking I whiskey. Like the moonshine. Sometimes you get fucked in weird places on the farm. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Downrange trailer. Let's see what the fuck this is about sucking and fucking and touching. You guys like doing that. Who doesn't? Going out for some country love. Oh, you blew a tire. You should have stuck with fucking uh, that Michelin. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone all right? No. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Signal's got a mind of its own. This was no accident. Say pit stop! Pit stop! Oh god, of course you'd be a selfie in it. Fucking douche. Ew. <laughs> there it keeps going. Oh, oh it may not be drink. What's going on now? Stay back! Oh shit! I'm fucking Shit. He's just taking his time. Tom Berenger. God damn, sniper. man. Fuck yeah. We're dead. Where's that fucking bullet? Dude, I'm Whoa. dead. I can't believe that Deadshot got a second job. Whoa. Um, yeah, man. Dude, yeah. It, you know what it had? It phone had booth, motherfucker. Phone booth and uh, breakdown with Kurt Russell. That's it had it had both elements in God that. Damn, Kurt so Russell well. and breakdown is underrated as fuck. It's a great movie. Uh, like, you imagine how fucking scary that'd be if, if if you broke down in the middle of a desert highway with your stupid friends that want to take a selfie because I'm say pet stop. Like, go fuck yourself. It's hot as hell. I'm I'm running out of water. I gotta change this tire. And you're already dealing with that. Then a sniper pops up doing Vietnam War style gorilla on your ass, and you're like. You have nowhere to run. Like you have, it's an open desert. You only have your car. It's the Cloverfield Ten version of a sniper sequel starring Tom Berenger. Dude, you know that gone rogue, that, that, that movie, down style. That movie is gonna be fucking like not. I mean, maybe not creepy wise, but it's gonna be like just intense as shit. Like, it's gonna be a super intense movie. It reminded me a lot of Phone Booth, dude. Yeah, Phone Booth, it know, does remind me of Phone Booth gets a lot of bullshit, man, but Phone Booth's a good-ass really fucking movie. movie. That's a good-ass movie, because you, you got a singular scenario, you got a person stuck in one spot, and then this dude just fucking with him from afar. I liked it, man. And, and Breakdown, because again, it was the same kind of concept. Both of them are, they mix so, man, that looks like what we need. Yeah. Like that kind of movie. That it, and it's it's it sucks because it doesn't look like it's going to be a, a theatrical huge hit anywhere or everywhere. I yeah. mean that's what it should be. But unfortunately, we're going to get. I mean it's a it's a small movie, and that's sometimes the best when you go and get these you know these VOD small horror movies. These killing it the VOD horror, but it sucks because they would never get the attention. You know that a theat it deserves theatrical because they put the strangers out. And that was an intense kind of movie, and I think this is going to be just as intense. Well, it's it's one of those things too with VOD horror nowadays. They can do anything. They can go unrated. They can go crazy, offshoot, whatever the fuck, and do what they want. And sometimes VOD horror movies, even though sometimes they don't end up as the best, they're the most interesting and original storylines that you get. And here's the thing: it's by the director of Midnight Meat Train. So here's what we know: yeah. it's a cool ass story. It's a fun like like we said. I, I keep bringing up Phone Booth, but it's a fun contained horror story. Uh, what we know about Midnight Meat Train is this: it was weird. The gore and a lot the, of meat. Yeah, 
then trains. Mm. The gore and the kills were really fun. It was really inventive. It was really artistic. And what happened with that movie is when you got to the third act, it just fucking fell apart. Yeah, they tried to get too crazy. With yeah, it. they got weird. But I, it was fascinating. It was still fun. I mean, I had a good time watching it. And I think that's the same thing I'm going to take away from this movie is that maybe there will be a plot, you know, plot lines in it. You're going to be like, ah, that, you know, what? If they could have left that out to the side of the road and got shot by a sniper in the trees. But at the same time, I'm having a good time watching this. They set the plot up at least semi well to keep me engaged, and I'm fucking on the edge of my goddamn seat watching everything that happens on screen because I think that's gonna be at least the whole movie. Like you're gonna have 30 minutes of them talking about their goddamn car breaking yeah, down because kids they didn't, yeah they didn't you know get Goodyear tires. Got they got those shitty ones, and then all of a sudden it's just gonna be this really like you're gonna feel the heat from the desert. This packed in like you said contained Pumped kind of off. like scared. If I stick my foot out here, you might shoot, like shoot my pinky off. 127 hours, I might have to use a pocket knife later. I'm in. I like it. It I'm looks in. fucking awesome. I'm excited as shit for that horror movie. So I can't remember who it was that requested it for us to do it, but thank you, sir. Thank you very fucking oh, much. Oh, fly. Don't bother me. I fucking am excited for this movie. So comment down below let us know what your all's thoughts are for the Damn Range trailer. We love your fucking faces. And if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some goddamn wham up in you. I know this movie has taught me, or at least the trailer did, if you're going to drive in the desert, drive in a fucking tank. Fuck the cars. I'm not going ever with you to a desert. Wiener. Oh. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie. Yeah. You know what? We did review. We watched a movie. We watched a movie